I know there have been brief moments of happiness, but they've been overshadowed by my feelings of despair. My career is finished. I can see no way out but to end it all. By the time you read this, my darling wife, my lovely daughter, I will be gone forever. Goodbye. Said Colin, and then he shoots himself. What do you think? Any good? It's quite a gloomy start for a novel. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe he doesn't kill himself right at the beginning. He might get more mileage out of him if he doesn't. I'm not sure about the name Colin either. them. Dar Darren, Dean, Dexter, Dexter. It's just not the sort of thing I'd normally do. Let me think about it, can I? All right, Izzy. Bye. <laughs> Bit late. Problem? It's a bit of a funny one. The Sunday Times wanted to do one of those at home with articles. What about us? Well, they didn't actually mention uh, yeah, I suppose it would be. Well, what did you say? I said I'll think about it. Don't think about it. Say we'll do it. It's, it's been the usual thing. Woman runs a successful business. Yippee, let's look in her kitchen. Might all be a bit cheesy. Of course it won't. This is Sunday Times. It's not like they've asked you to do a spread for Nuts magazine. It's, it, it, we're precisely the kind of couple that they want. We're arty, we're successful, make our own bread. Since when? Well, we would if that bloody machine had worked. Or if you put yeast in. Oh, come on, think about the publicity. For you and the agency, and if the fact that I'm writing a book comes up, then I won't do any harm. Mm. Come in, do sit down. This is my husband's novel. I'll have written loads of it by then. You don't even know what it's about yet. It's coming along. What do you think of Drayton as a name? I think he'd have shot himself sooner. And apart from anything, we do actually have quite a nice kitchen. So, I mean, if he did want to take some photos of me and you, then... Rick, could... look, I just need to sleep on it. Yeah, sure. Sure, good idea. So have you decided? What? About the article, yes or no? <laughs> the Sunday Times? Yep, they're running it in the magazine section in a couple of weeks' time. Congratulations. I didn't really want to do it, but Mel was very keen, so in the end I agreed. That's nice of you. In a way, it's probably not a bad time for me to put myself back in the public eye. Any year now would be handy. So, Rick, do you have any gigs coming up? I've got time for gigs. I'm working on something else. So what is it? It's, it's something quite big. It doesn't actually involve you. So... So is, uh, is that it, Bill? All right, you might as well know. I'm writing a novel. OK. You got a publisher? Not yet, no. So what's it about? It's an idea that came to me. What is it? It's, it's complex. You'll just have to wait until it comes out. Get someone to read it to you. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for the instant coffee. Disgusting as usual. Pleasure. Oh, I got this book I'm gonna lend you. Guy's name's Isaac Menson. It's all about plot, structure, characterization. You know what? I'm, I'm fine. You can't really learn that stuff. You've either got it in you or you haven't. Eduardo. Ed Eduardo. Eduardo tilted his hat towards the rain. He felt the cold steel of the knife against the gun. He's the gun. He was. One of my guilty pleasures, malt whiskey. Um, play a lot of, play a lot of poker. 
too much poker. Strictly off the record. Don't quote me on that. I do most of the cooking. I, um, yeah, Mel prefers not to cook. Uh, Moroccan, mostly, yeah, that's my, uh, my big thing. I'm thinking of putting that into a, a character in my novel. But yeah, yeah, no, I'm writing a novel at the moment. <laughs> What's it about? Uh, it's about uh, this guy called Eduardo, and um, yeah, he uh, he's a sleuth. He's a, a kind of he's a, he's a kind of a he's a, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Yeah, Sam, can you keep the noise down? I'm trying to write. What? I'm trying to write. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought Marty had gone. Yeah, he has. I'm writing on my own. My novel. Is that like a book? Yeah, Ben, like a book, only better. So what, that would be like in bookshops? That's generally where they sell books, so yeah. Well, they also sell them in Sainsbury's, yeah. Tesco's. Oh, I think they have them in Asda. And Morrison's as well. In Lidl. Yeah, all right, I get the idea. They sell books in Lidl. I don't know, really, we're boycotting it because of the way they treated Spikey. Really? Yeah, they got a bit mad because he rose off one of their forklifts. Oh, I didn't know he worked there, so... Uh, he doesn't. He just borrowed it. Oh, he just borrowed it? Yeah. And they didn't like that? No. No, mm. the security guard was yelling at him, going like, get off, it's dangerous. It's overreacting. Exactly. Well, yeah. you know. <laughs> Has someone been smoking something in here? Um... Oh, yeah, I think that might have been me. The... If you must do that, do you mind doing it in the garden? Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, sorry, Dad. It's just because we were watching television, so... Life is full of hard choices like that, if you could... Yeah, no problem. No problem. Good luck with the novel. Oh, thanks, yeah. I'll, I'll let you know when it's on sale in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't think they sell books in Iceland. Yeah. Today, what's the matter? Wet the bed again? <laughs> One of Marty's. Now, where is he? Off doing his own thing? No, no, it's, it's more the other way around, really. Anyway, no, I just wanted to get out of the house. Bit hectic at the moment. Oh yeah, what's up? Oh, it's it's a bit of a funny one. The Sunday Times are doing this piece about me, you know, my lifestyle. Oh, how awful! So, anything else on work-wise, apart from the interview thing? Well, yeah, yeah, no, I got loads on actually. I'm uh, I'm writing a novel. Oh, really? So you've got a publisher and everything? No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. It's not the way they do it these days. It's better to write it first, then send it in, start a bidding war. Oh, I had no idea that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Only I've been working on a novel. Well, I say working. Trouble with me is I can't seem to settle on an idea. I've got so many of them. Ah, tell me about it. <laughs> so, uh, these, these ideas you've been having for your novel, what, what sort of things? Oh, all sorts of things. Probably no good. <laughs> you don't want to hear those. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, there is one that I keep coming back to, but... Uh, no, go on. Well, what it is, um, there's this bloke and he's got psychic powers. Okay. Mm. And he has a vision that his entire town's going to be destroyed. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. And, and he... Then he goes around trying to persuade everyone to leave. Right. And, and, and then they... They go off on a journey. Yeah, 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 no, I thought so. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. So, uh, and what happens in the end? Oh, that's where I'm stuck. Can I interest you in the tagine? What? Today's special, the tagine. What's... It's Moroccan. Oh, no, I'll have a baked potato. One baked potato. So, uh, about tomorrow... Yes, I know. Mel has interview. Yeah, well, it's both of us, actually. So, I will do special tidy. So, house is nice for newspaper person. Yeah. So, what time will you be leaving? I don't know. I could stay if you uh, want. Ah, no, that won't be necessary. So, if you can make sure you, you know, by one o'clock... Yes. Yeah. And it cause confusion, won't it, you know? Who's she? Where's she from? They will ask this? Well, no, because you won't be here. Because you're going to leave at one o'clock, aren't you? I found this. 
You know whose they are? Ah, uh, yeah, they're mine, I'm afraid. I have to wear them these days, writing the novel. They don't do anything. They do, actually. They're quite, they're quite strong, that's why I have to no, wear them. No, look, it's the same. That's uh, not really the point. It's when you wear them, then it makes a difference. You do not need yeah, these. but with respect, Magda, you're not a qualified optician, are you? Or chemist. You're going to wear these for interview? Don't know. Might do. Hadn't really thought about it. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some things to get on with. They say you gotta lose a couple fights to win. It's hard to tell from where I'm sitting. They say that this is where the fun begins. I guess it's time that I was quit. Just asking. Something wrong? No, I was just wondering what sort of day you had. It's all right. Good. Why are you being like this? Like what? Oh, that's what I was going to say. Before you go in the kitchen. Go on. What have you done? You're making that as a bad thing before you even know what it is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well done. You've bought a pig. No, I haven't bought it. I'm borrowing it for a couple of days. Oh, that's all right then. I just thought I mean, when we do this interview, it would look good if we had a pet. A pet pig. Yeah, I honestly think it's the sort of thing a couple like us would have. Well, it's not, because if it was, then we'd have one. It's quirky. It makes us look interesting. No, it doesn't. It makes us look like we've got a pig in our house. They're very clean animals and incredibly intelligent. Good. Well, then no doubt he'll understand why he's got to go. It's just set dressing, you know, jazzing it up a bit. Instead of any old celebrity couple, we'll be the cool couple, the pet pig. We're not a celebrity couple, and it's not cool to have a pet pig. I'll say it's mine. Fine. If you want to look like an idiot, Rick, it's naff. You think so? Yeah, you might as well have one of those gold bathrooms with a heart-shaped jacuzzi. We haven't been upstairs yet. Uh, get rid of it. <laughs> Shame, really. He settled in quite nicely. He slept well in the end. I'm glad someone did. I mean, really, all of this is not, not his fault. If he sees food, he's bound to want to eat it. It's no worse than having Ben to stay. OK. I'll be back by one and... Yeah, yeah, he'll be gone. Oh, oh hope I hope you remembered. Thanks. Um, can you put them in the big glass vase? Don't worry about the ironing today. Oh, and there's a pig in the kitchen. Yes. Pig? Rick will explain while he's helping you with the cleaning. No, he said this. Oh, there is pig in the kitchen. Yeah, well spotted. Why do you have this pig? Uh, it's a long story. Mel and I thought of making a nice pet, but Mel's changed her mind, so it's, it's, we have to get rid of it. You want me to kill a pig for sausage? No, not really. I'm going to take it back to the pet shop. If you wanted pet, why did you not get cat? Oh, they're hardly very interesting, are they? Besides, you'd probably kill that as well. In my country, we used to hunt for pigs. Yeah, that's wild pigs. This is... No, no, it was not wild. It was neighbour's pigs. What, you used to hunt your neighbour's pigs? Yes, very well, easy. Uh, you wait until... Neighbour is sleeping, and then you make noise like pig, and they come to you, and you can catch and and take with you. Clever. 
Anyway, I must get on with Hoover. Sorry to bother you. Have you got a minute? Uh, not really. Oh, yeah, I was hoping you might help me clear something up. Yeah, like I said, I'm a bit busy, so maybe ask someone else. I would normally, but it's a bit of a puzzle, really, concerning yourself. A puzzle? I've just dropped in on my mother and found her in a bit of an excitable state. She's convinced you've got a pig in the house. What? A pig? She says she saw you getting out of your car with a pig. When was this? Yesterday, about uh, 2.30. Well, I'm sorry, I don't, <laughs> don't know what to say. What would I be doing with a pig? Well, I know it sounds unlikely, but you do realise that if you did have a pig... But I don't, Then it so... would need to be registered with the appropriate authority. I'm sure it would, but I don't have a pig, so I won't need to register it, will I? <laughs> oh, right, good. Well, sorry to have troubled you. Yeah. Uh, Clive, uh, it's none of my business, but have you ever considered that maybe your mother... I'm starting to get confused. How do you mean? She's 85, Clive. Well, I know how old she is. Well, you know, dementia, seeing things, that's how they go sometimes. Hmm? Sorry. No, 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 uh, no, I, I don't think she's, um... I'll maybe have a word with her doctor. I would, I really would. They can do a lot nowadays, medication-wise. I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I was watching this documentary the other day and they were... Oh, hang on. Maybe... maybe she saw this pig. Ah, oh, come to think of it, that's probably what it was. Yes. <laughs> come to think of it. Oh, well, puzzle solved. And at least we know your mother hasn't gone all... you know, yet. person to look after it. A pig? Yeah, sure. You got any cattle you want me to look after as well? Because there's plenty of room in my apartment and I'm real easy about that kind of thing. Look, he wants to meet you. Listen, he wants to talk to you. Here, listen to this. Talk to Marty. Yeah, hear that? That's your language, isn't it? Yeah, and he's saying, I want to stay with Rick. Oh, come on. It will only be for one day. Oh, while you're at it, why don't you throw in a herd of zebra? Yeah, very funny. I can tell you don't really want to help. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. Is that how it sounds? Yeah. You know what? Thanks for nothing. You are joking. Not really. What, here in my restaurant, a live pig? Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be in the restaurant. Oh, so what, in the kitchen? Hmm? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Well, I mean, in the backyard or something. Rick, I'd like to help, honestly. But I draw the line as having to pay a sizable fine. Oh. That's more important than our friendship. I'm afraid it is. Of all the people in the world, I took it out on you. Even after all the things you've done for me, what a thing to do. You won't let me down, don't let me down, but I'll let you down, it's true. Do you mind if Fallon just snaps away while we chat? Oh, no problem, yeah, feel free. <laughs> OK, well, thank you for agreeing to do this. It's basically You're just welcome. a... I'm always happy to take time out from my, uh, things. So, tell me about the house. How long have you lived here? Uh, we moved in about three years ago, and... Was it three years, was it? God, it doesn't seem that long, does it? Blimey. I suppose it was, yeah, it was three years ago. <laughs> and did you do a lot to it when you moved in? All the usual, the usual things. stuff. We took out the swirly carpet. Oh, yuck. There was that wood chip wallpaper had to go. everywhere. God. Yeah. And the kitchen was in a bit of a state. We basically, we bought the house from this old couple, so you can imagine. It was just... What? Well, it really stank. It just wasn't very nice, no. Is the coffee all right? Yes, it's fine, thank you. Did you choose the colour scheme? It's fair trade. Coffee. Always been big on that. Always been anti-poverty and pro-fairness. Yeah. <clears throat> so I have to ask, um, what's it like living with someone so successful?
Yeah, it's just normal, really. I don't, don't think of us as being... Because some men might find it difficult, the woman being the main breadwinner. Oh, well, that hasn't always been the case. No, no, it hasn't. No, I've been... What do your friends think? They don't tease you for being a house husband? No, because that's not what I am. Now you're barking up the wrong, the wrong tree there. I'm going to get some biscuits to go with a coffee. <clears throat> Where are the biscuits? The nice shortbread ones. Uh, go on. Oh, we'll have to take those. Oh, yeah, on. sure. Uh, by the way, do you know that there's a pig in your shed? Yeah, I do. Don't go mention well, it. Well, was. What do you mean, was? Uh, he's not in there anymore. You haven't let him out, have you? No. Uh, well, I might have done, to be honest. You might have well, done. Well, he sort of, like, pushed past. And then he started eating the compost heap. Where is he now? I don't know. He's probably in the house. In the house? Why did you let him in the house? Oh, I didn't. You just sort of followed us in? Yeah, and then went off. But you're going to have to get that pig back in the shed now. That's yeah. a good plan. Ben, Sam, this is serious. I want that pig back in the bloody shed. Yeah, no worries. Shh. Yep, just biscuits. There we are. Just, just help yourself. I think we're all right. So, do you want to see the rest of the house now, then? Mm, yeah, oh, that'd be great. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Not now. I was just going to make some more coffee to go with the biscuits. Um, well, I'm all right, thank you. Yeah, like some more coffee, Helen? No. So, should we start upstairs, then? Uh, well, do we have to look around the rest of the house? I mean, this is really the nicest room. Why don't we stay here? Let's start with the bedroom. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, she hasn't even asked me about my writing yet. We've got all that to talk about. Right. I didn't realise you wrote. Me? God, yeah. No, I, I, I write like a... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm writing a novel now. OK. Um, what's it about? Uh, what's, what's that about? That's, uh, huh, that's a big question. That, that's the big one. Yeah, it's... Well, what, it, what it is, it's... What it's about is this bloke who has a vision that his whole town is going to be destroyed and he has to persuade everybody who lives there um, to follow him on a journey and it just goes on from there. Isn't that just watership down with people? <laughs> nah, 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 you don't want to worry about that. That's, it, that, that's a kid's book. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't... This is deeper than that. It's got... works on lots of levels. Right. Um, Alan, could you get a few more shots of Mel in here? And is it all right if I use your loo before we... Of course. You want to use the loo? What, now? Yes. Fair enough. I'll show you where it is. I... It's, uh, just in the hall? Yeah, but still. Can... If you want to. It's just here. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to... What was that? What was what? That. It, well, it sounded like a pig. Oh, that, yes. Yes, that. That, um, that's Ben. He's our daughter's boyfriend, and uh, he's a nice boy. He's more like a son to me, but he makes these noises, and he doesn't know he's doing it. It's a Tourette's thing. He sort of... <coughs> you know, and he doesn't realise. Well, that must be very difficult. Well, it is, but I've learned to live with it. Has he always had it? Yes, I think right. since he was born. Goodness. Yeah, he just came out <coughs> all right from the right go. I just come in, Ben. I better go and see if he's okay, actually. So if you wouldn't mind. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, uh, generally. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, Rick. Oh, Jenny, this is Ben, our daughter's boyfriend, the one with the. Hello, Ben. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. Cheers, Rick. Yeah, in a minute. It's really nice to meet you. Likewise. Good. Well, we got quite a lot to get on with. So, so... what are you up to at the moment? Um, nothing much. Just, uh, just had a yogurt. Well, 
Good for you. Cheers. Um, Rick, the, uh... Yeah, it's OK, Ben. I'm just coming, right? Well, well I'll, um... Right, nice to meet you, Ben. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you, too. Um... You sure this is going to work? Oh, God. That'll be all the compost has been eaten. You could at least help, Sam. I'll see if he likes chocolate. Come on, get back in the shed. Why don't we look at the kitchen? <clears throat> Come on. Come on. What's the matter with you? I thought you were going to start upstairs. We're looking after a pig for a friend. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he's a bit shy. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, come on, meet Jenny. Don't be scared, come on. Yeah, he does that sometimes. He will not come out. Maybe try hand washing it. Oh, I don't want to do this. I've got a better idea. Take it out into the garden and burn it. Yeah, it's just that I have still got the receipt. Well, so. good luck with that. So you heard from Jenny about the article? Yeah. They're still going to run it. Oh, good. And photo-wise? No. They won't be using the one of you covered in pig shit. Does that actually manure? In fact, she thought it was best just not to mention you at all. All right. <laughs> I'll get that. Hey, dude. I brought the book around for you. Oh, cheers. Yeah, thanks, Marty. Seriously, Magda, I just oh, threw yeah. it away. And, um... Yeah. I think so. It outlines the three golden rules that every successful novelist follows. Yeah, I probably know them already, but, uh... What are they? Structure, characterization, yeah. and most important of all, never stick your head up a pig's ass. this? Another favour? Want me to look after a family of rats for you? No. You know that story idea of yours? Oh, about the bloke who has the vision. That's the one, yeah. And he has to warn the town and go, go on, on a journey. journey. Yeah. Well, I've been thinking about that. Oh, thanks. Do you think I should write it up? No. No, I don't, Michael. Do you know why not? Because your story is just watership down, but with people. So it is. Huh. Thanks for pointing that out. Imagine if I'd gone and pitched that to someone. I'd look like a right prat. Anyway, how's your novel going? Fine.